How's it going everyone? This is Red with the Irish Zombie Nation. I'm taking a little ride today. This is Elephant Butte State Park. This is the winding road section. Uh, takes you up above. That's Elephant Butte over there uh, coming up on the left. Supposed to look like an elephant. Kind of does. I don't know. Uh, anyway, there's the reservoir. A lot of pontoon boats out today. Nice weather. Uh, it's an early morning ride. It's, I don't know, in the 70s right now. Low 70s, something like that. Nice, cool little breeze in the air, but I got Coles behind me. This is his second time up here since he's moved to New Mexico, but this is a really gorgeous area. I just thought I'd take a little ride this morning, do a little random chat update about the channel, you know, what's going on, so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, I haven't posted a video in a couple months, a lot of stuff going on in my personal life, changing jobs, uh, you know, New Mexico, new to New Mexico. <laughs> I'm new to New Mexico. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to try to ramp the videos up a little bit more. Um, got an item I'm going to review probably today. I've had it for a couple months. There's a few items I've had for a while. I've just been so busy with my personal life. Um, I just haven't had time to make videos, but I'm going to try to get that up and going again. Uh, I'm going to, I do have a merch store. I don't even know if I've told you guys about that. Description box below, there's a link to the merch store. Sell t-shirts, mugs, all that kind of stuff with the IZN logo on it. So. Anyway, uh, let's see, we're gonna come up here and no, not there. Well, let's go a little bit further up, but I think once we get over here, we're gonna take a left and go up this, uh, I think it's, I don't remember what the highway is called, uh, towards Ingle, I believe it is, New Mexico. Anyway, never went that way, so we're gonna check that out. Uh, like I said, Coles is behind me. You might see him here in a little bit. Uh, but, is this right here? No. Uh, He's been here for about a month and a half now. He's really digging it. I mean, this. I mean, look at this scenery, man. It's just gorgeous out here. I really love it. Uh, it's a great place. I, yeah, let's uh, let's go left right here, and down this road. I heard this is a pretty nice road. Never been down it, but we're about to go down it now and see what's what. So anyway, Coles is here. He's gone on a couple camping trips. I've gone on a few more than him, but we're gonna do some motorcycle camping here going uh, pretty soon. I've only done it one time. And I want to talk to you about this tent. I'm going to put a picture up on the screen right now. I've slept with this tent one time. Not with the tent. I didn't sleep with the tent. We didn't have that kind of relationship. Uh, I slept in this tent one time. I've set it up twice. Uh, I hate it. I can't stand it. I wish I would have never got the thing. It's horrible. Um, as soon as I got it, took it out of the package, the tent stakes it came with were horrible. The cordage it came with was horrible the tie out points are just not in the right place you really gotta spend a lot of time trying to adjust this to get it set up right on your bike and in fact i could never get it set up correctly on mine unless i used one trekking pole to stretch the thing out and then in the morning when i when i got up um i don't know it was like five in the morning there was just massive amounts of condensation on the inside wall of this tent dripping down and puddling on the floor on the inside of the tent so uh, just getting up to crawl out of it to take a leak in the morning my back got completely drenched from all the water on the inside of the thing um, it is not waterproof they say it is waterproof it is not waterproof I tested it out before I took it out here it wasn't gonna rain but I tested it out with garden hose uh, just to see and it got through the zippers so I just I don't like it uh, it's not I, I think I'm better off personally with just a tarp like I've done before uh, I think that might have been in the intro of this video. If not, I'll try to put a picture on the screen right now what I do with just the tarp. Uh, I just prefer that all the way around. Um, yeah, this tent, I'm probably going to try to sell it or something. Also, when I got it, um, it came with stains on the back wall that's towards the bike, like purple stains <laughs> on the green material. So I don't, I don't even know what that's about. But anyway, I highly uh, do, I do not recommend, I highly do not recommend the, I think it's called... Uh, Svarg? I don't know. Some weird name. It's it's made in England, and it's called the Gypsy Soul Motorcycle Tent. If you find this tent, uh, it looks like it's a good deal. It's not. It sucks. Uh, please avoid it. So, anyway, later on, coming up probably, I don't know, tomorrow? 
maybe day after tomorrow, I'll have a review up on this down blanket slash poncho that I received for free to test out. I've used it multiple times out here uh, in the desert and it's good down to like 50 degrees and really you don't need much more than that out here. And I love the thing, it's a really great product. Uh, but you'll see more about that in the um, in the review that's coming up in the next couple of days. So anyway, uh, let's see, yeah, just continuing up this road. It's really nice scenery. It's kind of flattening out now. So uh, anything else going on? Not really. I mean, I'm going to put out videos as I can. There's, uh, I have a Yuko flat pack. I'm going to do a review on that as well. I I know that's been out for a long time and many people have done reviews on it, but I just got one and I want to let you guys know what I think about that. So there's going to be some more reviews coming just, you know, as I'm able to do them, I will get them out. I apologize for the lack of content. Every time I say, oh, I'm going to start doing this again, I'm going to ramp this up. Something happens and... <laughs> Like, like today, for instance, this ride, I was supposed to take an hour earlier, but I went out and my bike wouldn't start. So I had to put the battery tender on it. I think I need a new battery. Um, it seems to do okay when I go on long rides, but if I go on short rides just around town, the town I live in now, from one end to the other is like four miles. So I don't have to go very far to get to work and I don't think my battery is getting charged properly or I just need a new battery. So. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to make this too long. Uh, I think we're already like six minutes or so in, but that's what's going on, guys. Um, New Mexico is beautiful. It's gorgeous. I might throw in a couple little pictures of some different camping that we've done um, recently or just photos I've taken. I'll put those on towards the end of this video. Uh, just a little photo montage thing if you want to check it out. Anyway, um, another camping trip coming up soon. We still need to go to Cloudcroft. That We were supposed to do that, but we ended up going back to Caballo Lake. But Cloudcroft is definitely on the list. And you know I love winter camping. Now I'm out here in the desert, so I'm going to have to do something uh, as far as winter camping goes. And Cloudcroft gets snow. It's like the highest peak or highest point in New Mexico. I know uh, my buddy Junkyard Fox. You guys all know him. Seen him on the channel. Seen me on his channel. Uh, him and Cuervo go out there all the time. My buddy Shadow's gone out there. I have not yet, but again, I've only been here for, you know, five months, so more content coming, guys, uh, more camping videos, more gear as soon as I can get some. I just, the gear reviews tend to bore me. I get offers all the time to review flashlights. I hate flashlights, man. I hate flashlight reviews. I've done them in the past. They're boring as hell. I can't even watch flashlight reviews anymore. It's, you just look all this stuff up. There, I mean, there's no need for me to show you how bright this is. It's a flashlight. It's got this many lumens. Just look up the specs. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I can't do them anymore. So, um, there are some different items though that I am interested in reviewing. And I might even start doing a few reviews on a couple pieces of motorcycle gear. I know this is more of an outdoor channel, but you know, we ride motorcycles in the outdoors. So, I've got a, a really nice helmet. I've got some cold weather gear. A variety of things I might be doing some reviews on. So anyway, I have rambled enough. Let's get onto that photo collage. Uh, thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below if you got anything you want to say. And until next time, catch you down the road.